so far the best thing I've seen it so far is the the water resistance. Uh, so they to make something completely waterproof, apparently you have to make it really really rough on a tiny scale instead of making it smooth. Whereas you'd have thought that you'd have, if you made something really really smooth, then water would just run off because it's got nothing to grip to. But apparently it doesn't work like that. That's to be really really rough and stuff. I really like the neuroscience exhibition about the um, the brain, and that would be a nice thing to see in the future, like what we've developed in that sense, how what more we understand about the brain and everything. I'd really like to see that. I'm one of the things I've seen is the uh, Fox Telescope and how they've allowed access to the general part of world schools. So I think that that will help people, this, for people to be able to actually see in live what's in space. Huh? It's uh, very good for students. Here, well, the best thing I've seen is um, the telescope uh, down there, um, which which can actually look at the nebulous, which the Hubble can, which I thought only the Hubble could, but I've just seen it, and also using uh, sorry, uh, fluorescent. Um, genes to actually, you know, glow things inside a fish, uh, you know, a transparent fish, which is still an embryo, so you can see everything which is going on inside it, you can see the blood moving around and everything. That's pretty interesting because you can basically see, it's just like a human being, transparent, and you can see everything that's going on inside it. I like the one about stress and the fetal development because I thought that was quite, it was quite relevant. Uh, wow, well, my life at the moment. Lots of pregnant people. <laughs> uh, the best thing I've seen so far would have to be, I think, um, the interesting in the stress of the womb. I think that was the um, game there was really quite telling on how much a uh, stressful situation can influence you. So. Oh, I um, I actually I found the uh, bit on um, what affects the. Uh, the child in the womb during pregnancy quite interesting because it's quite I found it's quite surprising. But uh, being a physicist, I've yet seen many physics stands, so I haven't made a decision yet. So far, uh, probably the twelve and a half grand thermal imaging camera, um, and apart from that, probably the glowing fish because that's brilliant to see. Well, see blood going through a fish. I mean, who'd have thought it? And the hydrophobic super hydrophobic surfaces because they're just cool and really useful. Oh, um, I've just been looking at the uh, particle accelerators and they're really interesting and how they're getting so close to the speed of light and maybe one day they'll be able to yeah, get past it but I think that has a lot of uses in life, everyday life and can treat cancer and yeah, just fixes a lot of things. Best thing I've seen so far oh, was probably the um, super hydrophobic um, costumes that where you put the water on them and it just runs off, it doesn't absorb at all. I was quite interested in the um, teenage brain. I liked the um, conversion from um, various starches into rubber and plastic. That's the university. Yeah, that was I see potential for that in the future. Um, yeah. um, I quite like the section on the brain. The, that was quite cool and the general exercise to do with how the brain communicates to the hand and how you're able to get those to work together. That was quite funky. Uh, I like the, uh, the cow, the, um, the veterinary simulator um, that's on the top floor. That was very interesting. Uh, I enjoyed the, uh, the computing uh, display for uh, magic and computing and image processing um, but most of, the, most of the stands I've visited sort of, uh, I think are appropriately targeted at the young, young people I think there's something there for everybody um, so personally feeling inside a cow was quite interesting <laughs> not something I'm likely to do for real um, and the computer magic, because I'm a computer teacher, computer science teacher. The baby one. What's it called? I, I, I don't know, but I like I liked the one with the, um, the two satellites and... Plankton. Plankton, whatever.
Hadley? Something like that. I can't remember, but it was really interesting because I was so enthusiastic. Yeah. And what they can see now, what the hub can see, it's quite amazing how much we've, like, our. What is the word? But that's the physics side. I prefer the biology side. That's why I like the baby exhibit more. And they were thinking more about. Thank you. And they were thinking more about the brain of the baby and what the baby's going through, which I think we should focus on more. True. I mean, if we have all these like people who are on drugs and stuff and having babies, they should be talking about what they what they have on their baby. Yeah, they should be more focused on the baby before it's born than after it's born. I mean, there's loads of focus on it when it's alive, but when, yeah. when it's inside, I mean, it's still living. Yeah. But no one really thinks about it as a living, like, human. Yeah. And what goes in you goes into the baby. Definitely. Well, that's Happy. Like, that, it might have been the best one was um, the one with the cow. The, yeah, the, and you can feel inside a cow. Inside that was pretty cool. Also, the Star, the Origins one, the Star Origins. The 3D movie. Yeah, the 3D movie. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, the one with the cancer, operating on breast cancer, how they use um, absorption of light, light spectra, to identify the movement of the cancer? Um, probably the tiger fish, like the little fish that's all in the dark and you see there. Yeah. Um, I like the um, diagnosing cancer and um, treating cancer um, using light, using light. light. And the placenta with the womb. How stress good. affects the baby in the womb. Yeah. I think the, the lengthy research <laughs> yeah. group, I think it's probably, that's probably the most, the best one. I mean, uh, students just doing their A-levels and younger doing real research, that's really inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. They've got some amazing stuff. And sure, also, sure also, also the accelerators uh, stand about CERN as well, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Queen Mary computer control is what's quite Oh, and the, 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 magic. the, the magic. Oh, and it's amazing yeah. to go and see the 3D show. The 3D, the 3D, the 3D the 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 main was length of life. I quite like the um, the susceptible, the memory thing. You know, at cognitive memory, yes. Um, and what it, the drawing of your attention so you can slip the cards around in different ways or alter images. Um, yeah, I, I like the genetic thing about um, the, the, the snake dropping. Was that the snake dropping? Yeah, it was. Um, there was this um, this plant called the snake dragon, and it, uh, they were looking at the genetic mutations and how the structure of the plant can actually change, and the benefits to the plant and how it helps it survive. And that was quite interesting. Oh, yes, I've had a look. I think uh, I've only seen a few uh, exhibits. I think they're all excellent, really. Uh, I do, really. Uh, let me see. What do I think is the best one I've seen? What have I seen? Um, I quite like the one on snails. Uh, the one on. Um, Treatment of cancer with uh, laser uh, laser technology. I thought that was very promising uh, and interesting. I quite like the one on tiles. There's, there's one on tiles. Um, it's a mathematical one on on shapes, really, that fit together, not just tiles. I mean. And I like the one on zeolites. I've seen some others as well, but I can't, you know, I can't really recall them without. I stutter away. <laughs> I really enjoyed the um, biological. Um, no, the what is it? Biological inspired systems or something? The engineering where they oh, use yeah, the like the natural, like natural processes to like make engineering for today. Like they didn't use it in dentistry and things like that. I found that really interesting. Like yeah, that. it was quite good. Um, seeing techniques that we've learned about school, like where they inject the. Glowing yeah. things. Yeah, into it relates to what we're doing yeah. at most, especially in biology, with them um, where they injected um, protein into um, fish. the fish and like the nervous system. Yeah, itself. and if you could see the highlighted um, green spinal cord, which linked to the um, CNS system. Yeah. Uh, I I like the, the computer science exhibit. I thought it was interesting seeing uh, how you could trick the mind. 